tank. Tank does go down. Losing some Mutalisks, but keeps pulling back and taking out SCVs. And holding back the Terran economy is so huge in this matchup. As soon as the third hatchery goes up, Zerg is going to be in a big economic lead, despite all of the lost Mutalisks. And Krazi not reacting very well to the Mutalisk harass has not, well, can't really get up turrets with this kind of harass going on. Lots of turrets in the main base, so pretty well defended over here. But this is wide open, and as you can see, the map geometry sort of working against Krazi here. Very easy to come in from this side. And oh no, few units trying to push out but getting caught in the middle, picking off a tank there, picking off an, an SCV, picking off this SCV. Oh man. Sharp move there. And now this tank. Ooh. Goliaths are in a pretty good position, but now look at this. The Mutalists just pull back around here. This pushes barely out the front door, and already the Mutalists are back here killing more SCVs. Absolutely non-stop harassment. In the meantime, let's look back at how the Zerg's macro is doing. It's perfect. Look at this. Larva being spent the instant that they pop out of the hatcheries, and uh, third base up and running. Even got the drones transferred over just in time, and the gas is going up. So in the middle of all of this absolutely non-stop killer harassment, the Overmind is managing to uh, macro perfectly. And you would too if you had 6,000 actions per minute. Now I should say something about these actions per minute. Uh, these, if you know much about computers, these might seem a little low to you. It might seem like you could do a lot better. And in fact, you can, but apparently there are some issues, they were sort of overflowing buffers and things were slowing down tremendously. So I think they put a cap at about 10,000 actions per minute. So you won't see Overmind go very far above that. Continuing to lose a lot of mu of, ah, a lot of Mutalisks to these Goliaths. But, uh, has, I mean, Krazi just has not been able to move out of his base. I mean, he barely is able to take this expansion. I would like to see him take this expansion pretty soon, because he does have the money for it. And uh, he did just take out a lot of Mutalisks. The Mutalisk count, Mutalisk count is pretty low right now, although just more and more and more coming out on the way out of three gas, even putting down some creep t creep colonies here, almost called them creep tumors, uh, to defend this base. And, oh, two tanks getting caught out in the center. And this is going to be bad for Krazi, I can already tell. Loses that tank. Is he going to get the other tank? I think he is going to go after this tank, which is way out on its own. trying to pick a little at these Goliaths, deciding that is a bad idea, and pulling back even farther, even taking the base in the center. And this is a nice base, because you do see there are two Vespian geysers at this base. And Overmind obviously wants a lot of gas to continue. Mass, mass, mass Beatles production has made an additional hatchery in the main base, as well as some creep colonies. Don't know what is being planned for these unmorphed creep colonies. Um, these are still unmorphed, even though there are a couple of vultures giving them a hard time. That could be some kind of bug, I'm not sure. <laughs> Picking off some more Goliaths. And look at this. This is such a nice push. If you can see, Krazi is actually laying spider mines out in a straight line along the path of attack. This makes it much harder for Zerg to counterattack. And that's great, or it would be great if Zerg was making any ground units at all, but we're seeing just mass, mass mutalisks from the Overmind. Finally comes over to pick off these vultures, decides those are worthy targets now base in the center almost up and running and this push has not gotten very far where are all the goliaths uh turret has gotten up in place in this expansion here and uh, we are we are seeing this third command center now starting being built by this uh, scv which is also getting repaired by this other scv does run out of money though and returns back to mining look at that krazi also spending his money so well look at that but just look at the minimap here in the lower left corner of the screen. Just look at how many yellow dots there are everywhere. The Overmind is everywhere at once. There are overlords positioned well around the map. I don't know if there are Zerglings out, but when there are, they are very active and moving around the map. More Mutalisks on the way. It does pick off this turret, getting lots of SCVs. And... Uh, might have even taken out all of the Goliaths. So let's see, where are these Mutalisks pulling back to? Not sure why the Mutalisks are pulling back, but third base is about to get up and running. Um, notice Krazi just continuing to make SCVs through all of this. 
it's uh, you're used to seeing very poor macro from human players when there's a lot going on. But it's so amazing. These these bots, they don't even know. They don't even know when the situation is hard for them. Just like, okay, well, uh, better keep making SCVs because I need some SCVs. And he's getting this third base saturated and getting his gas up here, which is good. That's only his second gas, though, because this was a mineral-only expansion. Meantime, two more gases up for the Zerg, who is now on five gas. And that is plenty to make a huge killer Mutalisk army. These Mutalisks are upgraded. He has plus one, plus one upgrades, and he is getting the plus two attack upgrade now. And uh, interesting, an additional Spire. I, I like this. It lets you get uh, the second plus two upgrade a little bit faster. And this might also be a sort of backup Spire. I remember talking to some members of the team in this, about this at some point. Having a backup Spire is a good idea. In case your Spire gets lost, of course, having that backup Spire elsewhere is probably even better. Smoodalisks just about have free reign here. Oh, picking off a dropship. Didn't see what was in the dropship, but... Um, cool that cool that Krazi is still trying drop play uh, at this stage of the game, which is very difficult. Well, very difficult for humans. My god, it's so hard to get my head wrapped around the idea that two bots are playing in this game. But now the Mutalisk numbers have just gotten so extreme, able to pick off any vulnerable structures sitting out, and just not enough Goliaths. Crazio has been starved for gas for so long, has just not been able to get out enough of these gas-dependent units. And look, he's not even <laughs> focusing this Goliath, he's just going to walk right over here, picking off his bunker, pick off, uh, it's picking off SCVs left and right, and... This is definitely it for Krazi O, but we are not going to see a GG here, and that is because Krazi O is a computer, and computers have no sense of honor, so we are not going to see a GG, but uh, I am going to call this game right now. I I don't know exactly how the, uh, the refereeing for this tournament worked. They might have just waited until it was obvious or until all the buildings are gone, but as you can see, this game is just about over. The Overmind will not stop until everything is dead and even a, a fifth base going up, and we should expect to keep seeing more expanding and more Mutalisks. By the way, supply, it was a quick uh, mention, 161 supply for the Zerg, 55 for the Terran. So this game is completely over, I'm gonna call it, and we are gonna move on to another game after this, which is gonna be a little bit more laid back, and I'm gonna talk a little bit more in detail about this AI and how it reacts to things. Um, and uh, yeah, so do tune in for game two of this series, which is coming up right after this. This is Moduli Stack saying, be back in a jiffy.